They were doing an ice bath. Ice bath. Oh, wait. VIP. So alive. Let's kick it. What's up team? So today we're doing first ice bath here in Barakai and wanted to take some time to share our basic ice bath protocol with you. First, just some of the basic benefits of ice bath. Um, if you follow Dave Asprey, he really explains this well, this idea of ice kills off the weak mitochondria. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. And what happens with the ice kills off the weak mitochondria, the strong ones are left and they multiply. The densest areas of mitochondria in the body are the eyes, the brain and the heart. So when you do these ice baths, it's important that you go all the way underwater to get the most benefits. Next is just decreasing inflammation. I mean, when we train, when we eat uh, certain foods, it fills the body with inflammation. We want to pump that inflammation out. That's going to allow us to move better, be healthier, but also just recover quicker so that we can exercise more. Almost all professional athletes go right into the ice bath and then the sauna for contrast therapy immediately after their games. There's something to that and we can all benefit by implementing this into our lives. So we've got two bags of ice in here already. It's darn cold, but we got a third one. Let's get this bread. Head dunk first, 22 breaths. style breaths, which means that on the inhale, it's the biggest inhale you can, and then it's a let go. Inhale, let it go, let it go. Breathe it. Breathe out. Go with the flow of the breath. The last major benefit of ice baths is just teaching us mental toughness. It's teaching us to be calm under pressure. On the wings of love. Only the two of us. If we can just train ourselves to any time that we feel tense, just breathe. I'm just enjoying the kind of post ice bath feels. Got my Beach Patrol sweats on. Feeling good. Inflammation be gone. Weak mitochondria be gone. Let's get better, y'all. Ice baths is a good step forward. Signing off. We'll see you soon. Let's get this spread.